Hello friends, today we will see how we can create a virtual machine that's a Windows based virtual machine on Azure Cloud. So this is basically your Azure portal. So firstly we need to create a resource group. So just provide any name. Let's take test RG as a name. Uh, reason is very uh, you know important in this because it is uh, based on cost so you need to select a reason that is very near to you so I'm in India so I'm selecting a reason that is near to India so I'm selecting South India just go to next section and if you want to give any tax you can give if you don't want leave it as it is and you can say validation has been passed you can just click on create so we can see now that a resource group has been created so we can go to that resource group okay now we can go to create one virtual machine so here we can click on create option and then for azure virtual machine and once we are in we just need to select the resource group that we have created any machine name you can give so suppose we have give have given this uh, test VM as a name and rest other options remain as it is we don't want an Ubuntu image so we need to select a Windows based image so suppose it's a Windows Server 2020 uh, it's a Windows Server 2019 and then we can make a size 2V CPU 8GB memory is enough for you then you need to provide a username and you need to select a password Okay, so after this, we need to make this port open 3389 as we want to access this machine from outside. And the next, we have disk option. So uh, we need to be very careful because premium SSD is very costly. So better to use this as standard SSD. And uh, other options you can leave as it is. In networking section, you can see that virtual network, subnet, public IP, everything is created by default. So we can keep all this option default we can select this option because whenever we need to delete this uh, virtual machine then uh, this option will help in order to delete if it is getting stuck somewhere then in the management option I don't think so we need anything required here so we can go for monitoring here we can disable monitoring because in order to save some pennies we just uh, need to disable this option because we don't want any monitoring to this machine and in the advanced section also we don't want to place anything so we'll leave all option as it is and once this is done if you want to give any tag you can give that tag but if you don't want leave it as it is and you can go for review and create it will analyze all the parameters that you have set and it will give you the screen with all those parameters just wait for a few seconds Okay, so all the parameters are mentioned here, whatever we have selected. Now we can go for create option. So now it is creating virtual machine. So we need to wait for a few minutes to get this virtual machines up and running. So as you can see, now we are seeing an option deployment is in progress. So resources are getting provisioned. So we need to wait for a few minutes. And once everything is getting completed, we'll see the status as deployment is completed. So as you can see that all these uh, parameters or what you can say all these resources are getting creating in the background. So once everything is getting created, we'll see deployment is completed here. So just wait for a few minutes. Okay, so as you can see now your deployment is complete. So our virtual machine is ready. We can go to home and we can go to virtual machines and here we have our test VM ready here. So we can pick up this public IP here. We can open we can open RDP session here and 
and in this RDP session we can provide the IP and then show option we can provide the username and password here so I'm going to provide it here okay so I have provided credential here and now we are getting locked into this machine so as you can see our Windows machine is ready and we are inside this virtual machine which is deployed on Azure Cloud.